Now people are claiming the royals already know about this Archie, but he just doesn't exist. I have now heard from royal household staff that no member of the royal family has ever met the children. So the question then is why exactly are they included in the line of succession? Well, apparently the answer is not very complicated. King Charles is terrified of the consequences, people find out the truth. Now Twitter is talking about the biggest royal scam of all time and I have no doubt about it. It would be rather naive to believe that the king took no advice from his courtiers at the palace and I assume and this is only speculation and rumor, that Charles took the advice of the government on this matter. It's incredibly serious. People suggest that Charles should really come clean and expose the scam for what it is, but it's not like he can, Charles decides to forget to be careful and makes a royal announcement that he has been warned, the consequences would be disastrous. How could he speak up and say that two members of the royal family, his son and his children, the evil wife Meghan, deceived the whole public and lied again and again? No matter what we think of the bad actress at the end of the day, she's still what the queen called her a much-loved member of the family. These words now tainted the memory of a much-loved monarch. The late queen knew from the start that Meghan was getting pregnant, she was tipped off and it didn't shock the royal family when Archie's birth was so strange and shrouded in secrecy that the whole family knew and at their discretion that it's important the public doesn't know until insist that Charles must expose the scam. People need to understand what the royals have to lose when this all comes out. The answer is basically whatever they are the picture of privilege now a CEO still has to justify every decision to his shareholders. A president or prime minister can easily be removed from office, but royalty is an entirely different class. The luck of being born with the right loans has opened the door to lots of money and a life of privilege where you are entitled to just about anything you want, but with that privilege comes the expectation of being able to extract a valid birth certificate. So I guess Charles probably isn't sleeping very well these days. This whole Meghan question is a big concern for him. He just doesn't know what to do and has to believe, because he's actually not doing anything that leaving the two kids unseen in light of the estate is by far the best bet as to see if they do. So that should explain why Charles isn't someone who handles confrontation very well, he wants to have an easy and enjoyable life, so I guess he just wants everyone to leave him alone. He won't risk hurting the royal family or bringing down the monarchy forever let's remember he waited his whole life for the best job and wouldn't want his legacy read to schoolchildren in 50 years like O King Charles, the third she was the one who finally ended royalty now. I actually love Charles, but I also feel very sorry for him when it comes to seeing him stumble over the position he inherited. He would never have thought that an actress would be welcome in the family and could cause such incredible destruction. The only thing we can really hope for at this point is that the king's advisors can call to figure out what it is and that traitorous Harry too, but in the meantime, Charles has to realize that the audience is getting stronger and the invisible children theme will never go away. In fact, I think if the children don't exist, the public would rather know and remove their names from the line of succession. If there was deception, it will eventually come out and it will be much worse for Charles and the monarchy. If he comes out by accident in months or years in advance, it would be much better for Charles to rip the band-aid off and let it all out in the open. Now, if the kids are really completely made up, the longer this mess can go on, the worse it will get now soon enough the kids should start school, suspect if they are homeschooled they are either non-existent or from a surrogate the proof that they do exist is that they are taken to school by both parents where we can clearly see their faces and have to hold hands with them too seems like Megan has a lot of power because she knows Charles will never admit that they knew there were no children all along. It seems he always chooses Harry and Megan over him. The question I ask myself, though, is if Charles can't handle the confrontation, then why on earth did he accept the position of king? Should it have gone to William? I think she has a much stronger temper than Charles, and I suspect the longer this mess goes on, the worse things will be now. Going to pay non existent child support for the next 17 years or something. This makes Charles incredibly weak and would also explain why they both messed up. Announcing that Meghan was in labor later. They said Archie was already born. 
It was time for American Breakfast.TV shows that are hours behind the UK never understand their story. Meghan and Harry can't keep their lie straight. Meghan made a very brief visit to see her mother, presumably now that she really knows why she left. It was basically just for a one-night stay, a long way to go, and then shortly after we found out that Meghan was presumably pregnant if Lee and I think she's with her surrogate. Commercial surrogacy in the UK, K, and other parts of the world and Europe is simply not allowed, something that people in the United States don't seem to be able to understand. Unfortunately, I think many of us don't feel the same way we used to. Meghan has entered the royal family. He definitely made everyone wonder what really goes on behind the palace walls and Harry is just his disciple. He is so easily manipulated that she uses him as a puppet, maybe she threatened him that she would use her drug abuse against him in court and he would never see the invisible children. Meghan made a lot of mistakes, but I haven't read of any serious drug or alcohol abuse involving her. Most of the people commenting on these issues aren't doctors, and it's not like we can legally diagnose the issues that Meghan likely has. He could just be an egocentric and selfish individual who goes body for money and fame. She is not alone in this case. Of course, we've seen plenty of other people do the same thing. For some people, I feel like that's really who I am now. Meghan would have reasonable grounds to seek custody of the children in court as most people would agree that living with someone addicted to drugs or alcohol creates so many problems in the home and the children would be at risk. Megan can also take her mother to court, she is an accredited social worker with some kind of license and her mother is their drug dealer, I'm sure he's served time in prison. That's why Megan's father had to take responsibility for raising him. Now Samantha's mean stepsister came out and said the only thing Doria really did was smoke weed when Thomas was working and then pretty soon she started cheating. She got involved in all these tax scams and money laundering and she went for it. He could prove he was innocent and that only prolonged his sentence, Doria is no paragon of virtue, and I asked a few of my friends how the hell she was allowed in California if she had such a story. Some people said it might just be rumors and others said that Samantha only mentioned smoking weed, which is actually not considered such a terrible crime in California. Other people told me that maybe he could hide some of his background or that they just didn't consider him for his social work license. I have my suspicions about Doria, though, since Megan threatened to kill herself if they didn't keep this secret. I guess, Doria knew Megan was talking about suicide and should have called from California for help immediately. He was supposed to go there to stay with her and file a formal complaint against the employee who denied helping her and simply let her walk away and not because I think that employee should have been fired. But maybe when I sat in that chair during the show saying he should have prepared for racial considerations I just wanted to shout exactly what you did to help his wife when he threatened to suicide when I knew she was very inaccurate and could not trust me some $1 million in the pockets of two.